Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of operational word problems. This is standard 7.3b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 13 which is a new item type called equation off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So it's a pretty straightforward. We've got the value of this expression here. And let's get our graph draw feature open. All right, so we've got the value of 8 uh, and then multiplied by 1 and a half plus 2 multiplied by 2 and a quarter. All right, so we need to keep in mind our um, order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. All right, parentheses happens first. Exponent second. Multiplication and division are third. Addition and subtraction are fourth. Those are inverse operations. Uh, so the parentheses are simply just, uh, there's nothing, there's no equations inside the parentheses. They're just actually serving as multiplication. So I need to take care of these two things right here first. Then I need to add them. That comes last. All right, so let's see. Um, since I'm going to have to end up adding them, I'll, uh, it's going to be a little bit tricky to multiply the whole number by the uh, decimal. So what I'm going to do, or by the, the fraction, so I am going to see if I can go ahead and just convert this. So negative 8, and I'm going to convert that 1 and a half, right? So I know that 1.5, right, uh, is the equivalent of 1 and a half because 1 half is just 0.5. And then I'm going to kind of do the same thing over here, plus 2 and 2, and then I need to know 1 fourth is equivalent to 0.25. So now I'm just in, in decimals, so that's going to be a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and multiply this uh, times the negative 8, right, so that's going to be 40, and that's going to be 12. We have a digit in there. So, all right, so we've got the negative 12.0, or we can just call it negative 12, plus, and then let's just double this, right, times 2, and that's going to be 4.5, because I get two digits right there. All right, so I've got negative 12 plus uh, 4.5. Uh, and so another way to think of it, if you want to switch around, will be 4.5 minus 12, right? So that addition comes last. So I'm going to stack it up here. I'm just going to add these up. Make sure you put the decimal after the 2 to line them up. And I'm going to um, add them up. But since that's a negative 12, right, it's going to actually end up like I'm subtracting because that's a negative 12. So I'm adding a negative, which is the same as subtraction. So um, both of those together make it a subtraction. It's kind of a weird way to think about it, but it works. So that's 10 minus 5. I have to regroup there. All right, so it is 7.5, and it is negative. So it's a negative 7.5. Now, there are many different ways that we could solve this. Uh, write this in there. So first, we could just write, here's my negative, and we could just do 7, and we could do a point uh, 5. So we could do that negative 7 uh, point 5 right there. So that could work. But we've also got some other options. Remember this started as decimals, I mean as fractions, right? And so negative 7.5, you could, if you kept this in the fraction, you could keep it negative 7, and that 0.5 is 5 tenths, which is 1 half. So if you really wanted to, you can do negative uh, 7. Then you have to hit this fraction button. It goes to the numerator. And then you have to hit the bottom to get the denominator, so negative 7 and a half. This also is a correct answer. Or if you want to make this an improper fraction, you could just do it like this, negative, hit the fraction, 15, and then hit the denominator, halves. All of those work. 